me coming from a small city that was like first time to was to Sony Brooklyn like okay that was an amazing experience and i remember the entire flight was filled with i don't know 30 or 14 people who were going to Sony Brooklyn Firstly, like my name is Akshay Kulkarni. Uh, I come from uh, Jalgaon. There's a city called Jalgaon in Maharashtra. Um, I did my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunication in Srinagar, uh, the Kashi Bai Nol Institute. So, um, I while doing that, I was not mostly into electronics, is what I felt, and. I did it because my friends were doing it, and I was like, "Okay, let's see how this is." I mean, it was nice. It was certainly not for me. I am a software engineer, uh, level three in Tower Research Capital. People might know that from. It's a very famous uh, HFT, like high frequency trading firm, which is also located in Gurgaon. Let's go country first. I would say uh, so. I had a friend. Uh, it's like a big brother friend slash friend who he, who was uh, studying in Germany, and he told me that studying in Germany like education is free. And then I got to know that it is for public universities. Plus, you have to learn German language there for being like conversing there with public and all. And then again, one of my other friend. Was applying for US, and then I got to know that oh, I cannot apply for US. Like there was no, not much of a thought. It's just that I wasn't exposed to that. Oh, I can go to US because one of my friend is also can go. So it's like you have to see someone do that to you know just have some kind of motivation. So that's why I chose US. I was like, okay, I can't do German right now. I don't have that much of time or even skill to learn a new language. So I chose US. um why i chose stony brook university so i had arizona state university and stony brook university i read about arizona and the course in arizona is really not famous like the, the computer related course science or engineering those are not uh, that popular in arizona state university so i did uh, choose stony brook university it's a really amazing university for computer aspiring like you know, go there uh i would say that's about it because i had only those two admins and i didn't want to spend more money on uh, newer admins and all those application fees and all so choose your money and admins wisely not admins applications wisely instead of doing like you said i mean i did make a list of all the good universities but i could have certainly uh, had more guidance to apply to better ones where i could have like okay Six out of seven admits, but I only had two out of seven. So I just went with the best. So. It was an experience at the airport. It was like okay, getting emotional and all those things. Um, that was my first flight. Me coming from a small city, that was like first flight was to Sony Brooklyn. Like okay, that was an amazing experience. And I remember the entire flight was filled with. I know thirty or forty people who were going to Sony Group because we had a WhatsApp group. So eventually, you end up finding various different groups. So I was joined in a WhatsApp group where we all decided to book the same flight and then go. So the entire place was filled with okay Sony Group aspirants and all, and then yeah, the airport was filled with them, and we all booked the shuttles together from JFK Airport, New York's JFK Airport to Sony Group. Everything was expensive since start. As if why is the shuttle costing so much? But everything, the mindset you as soon as you enter, the first thing you notice is that the the cards you use to carry the luggage they are like five dollars. I was like, what at the airport? So it starts right there. The, the thought process of how expensive US is. Um, it gets better as you uh, go on. So I came in. We went from there to Sony Group, and then we started. So I had my courses starting after a week. So jet lag and all those things got recovered till then. After that, courses started happening. 
they were asked to choose the buckets and all and then i did that sort of thing where i did choose one uh, course from each bucket which was really difficult uh, people should stay away from that and try to do okay easy subjects a little bit difficult subjects like get a good combo don't get every hard subject in the first semester courses were very difficult for me at least the the one i took for electronics was very difficult because i thought i came from electronics i don't think i can do this but i did not do uh, that course that well and i think i went into heavy depression for for a few weeks and like what am i doing with my life and your parents have sent you so and so and you have to uh, give your best and all those things it was a very hard time but then i picked myself up and i said okay let's do it like let's learn what it is and i kept going to library and just sitting there going through that subject my own asking the professor so that i recovered uh, quite good from that and then i eventually ended up with a 3 gpa which is borderline gpa as i mentioned earlier if you get anything below 3 out of 4 uh you either have to attend counseling or that if your case is very bad they even send you back to india so i barely got that uh, 3 gpa then uh, i think i went to new york uh, after 6 months after that semester was over usually people arrive in stockholm and they visit new york right away uh, for just traveling around roaming around visiting places visiting new york city i didn't even have that time to uh, like go travel so my first visit outside stony brook was new york city after one semester the biggest mistake of my life there was i thought internship was something you just it's okay to have like in us internship is absolutely very 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 big if you have that it's a direct gateway into a full time job so in my second semester i applied i think i remember i only applied to 11 universities 11 companies for my internship all of them got rejected and as like okay that's my fate i like i don't i can okay like i won't be having it done like i accepted that but after that semester when i saw the entire hostel was empty like almost a few people were there and the entire hostel of like 500 plus people were just gone for internships and that's when i that's when it hit me you know this is actually that important like i i because i thought okay i am doing masters i'll get a job that's not a big thing but you have to certainly have like that's what i would suggest to people watching this is apply to as many companies as you want so what i did was in my last semester, so since i took very heavy courses in first semester my last semester was very light i would say i think i had one course and one research assistantship that's it so for those months i used to study and my the friend i talked about earlier vishal he really he, like he has a good experience he's a working professional and he really helped me going through basic concepts like going through leaf code and like coding questions and all like i used to study and that time he told he apply as many as you can they have to reject you you don't have to think about it so i started applying then in december when my course was had ended like um, started applying in september to december that's a lot and applied like crazy i applied i think i used to wake up apply at least 30 to 15 companies each day like that was an insane amount because i got to realize that i don't have an internship i don't have a previous job so what the only experience i had was bachelor's masters that's it who would give a person like this a job i would say so i used to apply crazy like that for a few weeks i did that i used to install chrome extension which could fill up the 
details very quickly like shortcuts i used to like the first name is like first name it is my full name address address so i was filling application forms quickly as i can and just going getting to the uh, what i would say studying part the crazy funny thing is i still didn't get didn't get a job i got it when my friend vishal he recommended my name to a company which is like towers it's cafe so he got a the job there first and he got another job in amazon as well since i mean he already had 3 4 years of good experience he was very knowledgeable and all he he was from computer science background he was like i am i want to pick towers because i want to go in uh, product side this uh, company he went in that so why go in he recommended me i would also suggest people to ask shamelessly at least i mean there's no shame but ask people who are working professional to just put your name in their company if they are looking for some job ask them can you recommend my name this is my resume just go for it 